Good day. Today we come together to mourn the tragic loss of a leader, a builder, a brave soul taken from this earth far too soon, Steve Arkell. To Steve's wife, Heather, to his daughters, Kim and Lauren, to his parents, Marion and Tom, to his brothers, Jeff and David, on behalf of every member of our New Hampshire family, I extend my deepest condolences. I know that you are a very close family, and I cannot begin to imagine the pain you are going through. Please know that your entire state holds you in our thoughts and prayers, and we are to here to support you in any way we can. We thank you for sharing Steve's life with us all and allowing us to share this time of mourning as well. To all of Steve's friends, loved ones, fellow officers, Brentwood neighbors, and all who have joined us today, thank you for being here to celebrate the life of a true Granite State hero and a pillar of his community. Steve's bravery and compassion represented the very best of law enforcement and the very best of humanity. He is a classic, his is a classic, small town New Hampshire story. Steve grew up in Brentwood, forming lifelong friendships and touching countless lives. His service as a part-time police officer was a reflection of his character and his dedication to his community. It wasn't something he had to do, but he took on the role with strength and bravery because he valued the freedom and safety of his fellow citizens. Steve was well known as the kind of person who would give you the shirt off of his back, who would do whatever it took to strengthen his community and help others. This was demonstrated in Steve's daily life, in the good works he committed himself to, both large and small in the way he coached his daughter's lacrosse team right here at Exeter High School with humor and passion, instilling life lessons in his players while spending time with his family. In the respect and love he showed for his town, with frequent stops into Lindy's Brentwood Country store to buy homemade donuts and pick up food for stray cats that he cared for and in the way he plied his skills as a carpenter, not only to support his family, but also to help build much of the foundation of his community. As I have spent time in the last week with Steve's friends and loved ones, I have heard countless stories of his work as a builder, improving his community in real and lasting ways. One story in particular has touched me in a deep and personal way. At last week's candlelight vigil, I ran into friends of mine from Brentwood who knew Steve. They had a daughter, Bree, who, like my son, experienced severe disabilities. A few years ago, Bree passed away, and in her memory, Steve set out to build an accessible path in view of the river that could be used by every member of the community, regardless of circumstances or physical limitations. Bree's Way now takes all who visit down a beautiful scenic trail next to the Exeter River. In building Bree's Way, Steve not only honored her memory in the most fitting way, but he built a tangible representation of what it means to be a community to fully include everyone's talent and energy. And he built a representation 
of how much his community meant to him. Steve's legacy will rightfully be of a courageous hero who answered the call of duty, did his job as he had so many times before, and gave his life so that his fellow citizens could live theirs in peace. But he will also be remembered as a father, a husband, a coach, a neighbor, a friend, a brother, a son, as a local leader, known to all as a kind and caring soul. And as a builder who strengthened the foundation of his community with his own two hands. The hole torn in our hearts and in the very fabric of our state from Steve's loss will take time to heal. Will take us leaning on each other and loving one another. But the vibrancy of Steve's life, of his works, of his service will never fade. He is with us here today and will be with us always with every goal scored and with every foot traveled on Bree's way. We must take the lessons he taught us with Bree's way to heart, that we can honor those who have touched us by simply being there for our communities and contributing whatever special talents we have to help others. That whether we are a police officer, a coach, or a builder, we can make a difference in people's lives. Steve was taken from us far too soon, but we thank God for every moment he spent enriching our lives, and we pray for strength and comfort for Steve's family, loved ones, and fellow officers. Steve, you are loved and you are missed. Thank you.